Hello, hello, hello. Carrie here from Homestead Howe, reporting live from the world famous Montello Theater. I am actually below the movie theater now, and we're playing the movie Spider Man. And I wanted to wish everyone out there a happy Father's Day, if you're a father, of course. I had an amazing Father's Day today. Jen gave me the day off from the movie theater, but I wanted to come in anyhow. And earlier today, Jen, myself, and the girls went on a kayaking adventure on the Meekin River, and we had a blast. It was so much fun, and uh, I really enjoy spending time at the movie theater. We had a nice rush uh, over the last hour or so. Uh, just Emma and myself right now working at the theater, and we're playing the Spider-Man movie. I haven't watched it yet, but we're going to be playing it for the rest of the week uh, through Thursday. And then we're showing the Transformers movie. And then that's just a week after that, we will be playing the uh, Indiana Jones movie. I'm really looking forward to that one. That one's coming out June 30th. So hopefully that'll be a good one. Uh, so I've got some time here while everyone is upstairs watching the movie. Hopefully uh, people here can hear me okay. Looks like we got a couple comments. Happy Father's Day. Hello, hello. Uh, if anyone uh, could please message in the comments, am I coming through okay? Last time I reported here from the movie theater, I did a live stream. I had some audio issues. I'm in the process of upgrading and getting a big 100-foot Ethernet cable, but it hasn't come yet. So I figured I'd make sure everyone was off the Wi-Fi and try this one more time. It looks like I have a better signal than I was having before. So hopefully you can all hear me loud and clear with no echo please let me know in the comments if that's the case and so i wanted to do oh cool someone said it sounds perfect you're good awesome thank you yeah big happy father's day if you guys are just jumping on i just mentioned earlier i had an awesome father's day today with the family and the girls we we did a kayaking adventure it was a, it was a so much fun and in fact on my thursday video uh, you can see some of my last kayak adventure. I went solo two days ago. It's been a new little theme of mine. I've been really busy uh, with the movie theater and the documentary movie, which is what I wanted to update everyone about today. Uh, but I did get a little downtime for Father's Day to go kayaking. So on, uh, on Thursday, you know, I keep getting these comments. I wanted to address this quickly too. I just hit 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. I'm really excited about that. I've been on YouTube for eight years and done 514 videos, and it's been a huge struggle uh, to get this many uh, subscribers. And I just got my plaque, and I'll have that in my Thursday video as well. Believe it or not, YouTube sent me the wrong plaque, and I got somebody else's plaque, so I feel horrible for them, but I was able to get in touch with them, and we're we're sorting it out, but I got the play button. When you get 100,000 subscribers, you get a play button you can hang up on the wall. So I'm pretty excited about that. I have had nothing but positive carnivore comments. Carnivore community is just amazing. I've had two or three comments from people saying to me, why are you keep doing these carnivore videos? We want more homesteading videos. On the flip side, I've probably had a thousand comments say, I'm really enjoying your carnivore videos. They're inspirational. Please do more. So for those three people, uh, this is what I say. I, I'm literally doing the same thing I've been doing for the last eight years on YouTube. Every Thursday at 4 p.m. for years now, I post a homesteading or movie theater or family vlog video. I haven't missed a Thursday at 4 p.m. Central Standard Time in years, literally years. I'm still doing just that. So nothing has changed. The only difference now is I'm posting more content being these carnivore videos on different days. So if you come to the channel and you're like, I don't care about carnivore, I just want the homestead stuff, nothing's changed. Just watch the Thursday video. If you see a carnivore one, just skip it and don't watch it. So uh, that was my little speech on that. Overwhelmingly, I've had so many comments. People want to see more of the updates and stuff like that. So this is for you guys because you're the carnivore crowd. Uh, Thursdays, we do homesteading videos. Emma's in the next one. The next one's really cool. Uh, I smoked up some strip steaks, uh, reverse seared them and they came out amazing. And we did some stuff with our Amish friends and I went on this, uh, solo kayak adventure the other day and I got a lot of footage of that. And then we came to the movie theater. So it's a lot of fun. It's like a family vlog behind the scenes. There's a little bit of carnivore in there. And those are Thursdays at four every Tuesday since I started carnivore. Well, not since I started since my 30 day update on carnivore, 
uh, every Tuesday I post my carnivore update. So I think last time it was like day 76 on carnivore, whatever day it happened to be. And uh, I'm going to continue doing that. So if you're into the carnivore stuff, maybe the Tuesday video is more for you. Here's my little counter. I don't know if you can see that. I am on day 90, day 90 of carnivore, 10 days away from hitting 100. And tomorrow will be my third day of a new milestone. I didn't want to uh, be too clickbaity, but I was going to do a video saying I quit carnivore. Technically, I guess I didn't quit carnivore, uh, but I started the lion diet. I just I did an interview with my good friend Dante from Frigno Freedom, and we posted that this morning, and it's getting some pretty good uh, reception. People seem to really like it. He's I could have just sat there and not said anything because Dante is amazing. He's uh, really got an inspirational story he had to tell. So, uh, but he's been doing lion diet for 900 days. I'm on day 90 of carnivore, so he's 10x me. Uh, but I, after talking to him, I'm like, why don't I just try lion? I've always done beef, butter, bacon, eggs, a little bit of shrimp here. Uh, very rarely I'll have fish or some sam or some salmon or some sardines. But Dante's been doing carnivore or the lion version of carnivore for 900 days. And uh, so I said, what the heck? Why don't I try it? Everything's going great doing beef, butter, bacon, eggs for me. Although I was stalled a little bit. And who knows if that's true. Every time you check the scale, it's a little bit different. But uh, I was lingering around like 183 pounds, which is almost 80 pounds lighter than I was at my heaviest. And I started carnivore a couple of days ago. I started doing lion a couple of days ago. And I weighed myself this morning. And I don't think I've ever looked at a scale where I've been this low. I'm in the 170s now. So that was really exciting for me. I, I know I've said it before, but I did keto very strict keto on and off for maybe 10 years. And I could never get under like 186. It's only since I started carnivore that I've been able to break through those plateaus I used to get on keto. You know, when you start losing weight, whether it's carnivore or keto or whatever you're doing, usually the first, um, the first pit of weight you lose is the easiest. So when I was 260 pounds at my heaviest, I started keto. That's 80 pounds heavier than I am now. When I was 260 at my heaviest, you know, the first 10 pounds are easy because a lot of that's water weight. Uh, but then the, the first maybe 20 or 30 pounds after that, it's usually kind of easy compared to when you start losing weight and you got less body fat on you. It's usually those last 20 or 30 pounds you're trying to get rid of that are so hard to get off of. And so uh, I haven't had that problem really on carnivore. I was, I think I was stalling out a little bit, but that was one of the reasons I wanted to try lion diet too. I was just eating uh I was just kind of not really snacking, but uh, I, I prefer the lion diet because I'll have one big steak and I'm kind of almost doing one meal a day now for the last three days. So that's been going awesome. If you guys have a question, please put a cue next to it in the comments and I will, I'm going to go through and get those. I want to do a quick update. Uh, Emma's doing awesome as well. So I'm on day 90. She hit day 40 today and we had a blast today. Uh, Father's Day again. Happy Father's Day. If you guys are just jumping on a little bit later, I went out with the girls kayaking and Jen and we had a blast. It was so much fun. Uh, found this new river. It's just amazing. And then I came to the theater with Emma. The girls gave me the day off, but I chose to come in today. Uh, tomorrow is actually going to be my legitimate day off. So happy Father's Day to everyone out there. Now, here's the update I wanted to provide on the carnivore diet documentary. I'm so excited and pumped for this thing. I'm making so much progress. I, I just want everyone to know this is, it's going to be, it's going to be amazing. I, I guess I don't want to uh, over promise and under deliver, but I'm going to, this is what I always tell my girls. I was like, you don't have to be anxious about something. If you put in the hard work, if you do, if you, if you perform to the best of your ability and in terms of this carnivore diet documentary, I'm going to do the absolute best job I can. Now, if for some reason I do that and this thing just tanks and people just hate it and it's horrible, don't think that's going to happen. But if that happens, I'm not going to lose any sleep over it because I know I'm doing everything I possibly can to the best of my ability, I'm working really hard on this. So a couple of the big updates since we last spoke, I did a live stream a while back, giving some uh, carnivore diet movie updates. And I guess I should say this because there's so many new people coming on. If you're new here, quick update. 
I've been doing carnivore for 90 days. It's completely changed my life. It's just, it's been amazing. I've done other videos on that. You can watch that to see everything that's changed. It's changed the life of my daughter, Lily. It's changed the life of my daughter, Emma, who is a vegan for five years. And she's been a carnivore for 40 days now. It's just been astounding to me. So every Tuesday, I do an update video, get into more of those details. If you want to know what changed for me besides losing all of the weight I've lost. The This drove me, I, I, I did a 30-day update video on carnivore. And I'm a YouTuber. I do homesteading videos. I don't do carnivore videos until I did that 30-day video. And all of the comments I got from people saying about how carnivores changed their life, it really impacted me. And people found my videos inspirational. And I wanted to reach more people. This was the big thing. And it, the kind of the changing point for me was when I interviewed my good friend, Sean, from Intentional Carnivore. He lost 243 pounds in a year, but he doesn't care about the weight loss. He had horrible crippling depression. He was on his couch with depression. So horrible. It's just amazing what that man has done. He's lost 243 pounds, but more importantly, he broke free from that depression without any medication, just using the carnivore diet. I too had clinical depression and I was on every single SSRI and antidepressant they have out there. And it was the worst. I was at the lowest low. I can't describe to people that haven't experienced that depression, how horrible of a thing that was. Um, it's just, it's, you're in the darkest, the darkest place ever. I, I've told, I've mentioned this before, but we used to have this uh, detached like workshop on our garage and there was no windows in it. I used to go just sit down there for hours in the dark because I, I just couldn't even be by my family. I was just, it was so dark and so depressed and just like a zombie. I wasn't sleeping. I had insomnia and long story short, I know there's a lot of other people out there like that, that are hopeless. They have hopeless depression and they're at the end of the road and they don't think there's any choice out there. And I want people to know there is a choice. Carnivore, since I've been doing carnivore for 90 days, I haven't had an inkling of depression. And I've had depression my whole life. When I went on keto years ago, I was able to control it a little bit, but it never went away. On carnivore, I have no depression, no anxiety, and I'm not taking any medication for it. And if my testimony isn't enough for you, Sean from Intentional Carnivore had the same experience. I know these are anecdotal, but when you get thousands of people that are doing this and having results, it's no longer anecdotal. The other person that you can check into is uh, Dr. Jordan Peterson. He's been a carnivore for several years now. He's just obviously a brilliant, brilliant person. Some people don't agree with some of the things he says, but you can't argue the guy is a, literally brilliant. He's a professor. He's a multi best-selling author. And you just listen to the guy speak. You know he knows what he's talking about. He's been doing carnivore for five years. And when he did his testimony on Joe Rogan, he listed a million things that changed for him. Weight loss, uh, gum health, everything. But the last thing he mentioned was he's no longer on antidepressants. And this is coming from a professor, psychologist that's known for psychology that was on antidepressants himself. He's no longer on antidepressants doing the carnivore diet. So that, that was the main reason. I've lost so much weight. I've had so many things improve, but that's the main reason I want to do this carnivore diet documentary. So I set up a website, carnivore diet movie. I'm not trying to make a penny off of this. I know I've said it many times, but I, I want to make that clear just because I feel like we're in this situation where everybody's addicted to sugar and junk food and garbage because of money. Don't get me wrong. I'm so happy and blessed and thankful that we live in America and we live in this day and age when there's uh free markets. And they've, I own several businesses myself. So I'm all for that. But I think something that's going terribly, terribly wrong is healthcare companies, uh, hospitals, and food companies are profiting from people suffering, people that are addicted to sugar and carbs, and it's destroying their lives. And it's, it's absolutely horrible. Um, and so I want to get the word out and doing these YouTube videos, I've been able to reach a lot of people. My 30 day update video has over a half a million views now. And the other videos seem to be very popular as well. But I think there's just a small subset of people that are interested in carnivore that come across a YouTube video about carnivore. And I think there's a lot more people that we're missing that are maybe on one of those big streaming services like Amazon Video or Netflix or one of those big guys. That is my goal. So I'm putting together, I'm trying to create a carnivore diet documentary. I want to follow real people, not just obese, but also people that have depression, anxiety, arthritis, IBS, stomach issues. I want to follow them for the course of a year and show their, show their results on the carnivore diet. 
And then I want to get involved some of the uh, the doctors, some of the carnivore doctor advocates like um, Dr. Barry would be amazing. Um, Dr. Anthony Chafee is another one. So here's one of the big updates. So that was kind of the overview. If you guys want to learn more about that, you can go to carnivoredietmovie.com. It's, it's scrolling across the bottom of the screen there. And if you go there, you can fill out a form if you want to participate. If you're thinking about doing the carnivore diet, you can, uh, there's a link for GoFundMe. Every single penny that you put to GoFundMe is going directly towards this documentary movie. I'm going to end up taking a whole bunch of money out of my own pocket and time, and I'm happy to do it. This is a passion project for me. I'm not trying to raise money for myself at all. This is all going into the movie. And if you buy any of our shirts or merchandise on Homestead How, you can see them usually below each of our videos. There's a little box that show our compassionate carnivore t-shirts. Every penny we make from those goes towards the movie. And if you choose to become a member, we've got a lot of members joining. I really appreciate it. I've been doing member-only updates. I did one today or yesterday. So in the little community tab, if you're a member, a lot of the members already know some of these updates I'm sharing now a couple of days later. So if you want to get some insider insider tips or some things that are happening earlier, or you want more access or ask me questions. If you become a member, you can do that on YouTube. There's a little join button below and you can just, it's just like a couple bucks. Every penny we get from that goes to the carnivore diet documentary. So um, big news since we last spoke, this is so exciting. I had a phone call. I got up at 5.30 in the morning, which I've been doing every day on carnivore now. That's a whole other story, but I wake up right when the sun comes up, I go out and I get my sunshine. Uh, this this morning, I didn't get much sunshine because I had a call with the Dr. Anthony Chafee. He invited me to be on his YouTube channel and he interviewed me. He saw, I think, my 30-day update video and it was amazing. It was absolutely amazing. That guy is so smart, obviously, without saying. If you're not familiar with Dr. Anthony Chafee, Google him, check out some of his YouTube videos, subscribe to his channel. He's a neurosurgeon resident. I think that tells you right there he's a pretty smart guy. He's been a carnivore for years now, 10 years in total. I think he said he went five years and then he went off it for a little bit and then he went back. He's been on it for another five years. Really strict carnivore. And he's got some just amazing research about, he, he did this uh, He did this talk about, it was titled, Plants Are Killing You, Why Plants Are Killing You. It's talking about toxins and things that are in plants as defense mechanisms that are really messing people up um, that nobody's talking about except for Dr. Chafee and maybe a few small other people. Really, really smart guy. So he interviewed me. We talked. All of a sudden he was like, well, we should probably wrap it up right now. That's been two hours. And we were both like, I can't believe that was two hours. It was such a great conversation. Now, some of you might be asking, when is that going to go on his channel? I'm not sure. The man, he's the busiest person I know. He's working 16, sometimes 18 hours a day neurosurgeon resident at the hospital every single day working on his one day off. He does a wellness center, carnivore diet, helping people. He's helped so many countless people that have Crohn's, colitis, IBS, stomach issues, reversed it, completely reversed it for so many people. That's what the man does on his day off. And then at night when he's done working 18 hours, he's talking to me on YouTube and he's talking to other people on YouTube and he's sharing his wisdom and stories on YouTube. We talked for two hours he ended the broadcast and then he's like, well, if you got a minute, let's talk a little bit more. We spoke for another full hour after that offline. It was, this wasn't, this isn't even going to be on his channel. And while he was interviewing me, I just, uh, I kind of put him on the spot. I said, I don't want to put you on the spot, but we're doing this carnivore diet movie and it would be an honor. It would be amazing if you would be involved in it in any way at all. Even if you just want to watch it and give me some tips or advice or anything, he enthusiastically said, yes, I would like to be involved. And that's why we were talking for like an hour after it. So, so exciting. So exciting. So Dr. Anthony Chafee gave me the verbal, yes, I would like to participate in the carnivore diet movie. So that was huge. And then that same day I spoke to him, I spoke to a gentleman, uh, named Chad. And Chad is a documentary filmmaker. He used to do documentaries for the BBC. And this phone call was amazing and so insightful. First of all, uh, Chad is a carnivore. He just hit 120 days. So that was just, it was just fun to talk to another carnivore. But this man has so much experience with uh, documentary movies. Now I've said this before. I've done tons of video work. I've done uh, 500 20 videos on YouTube. I've done about 600 videos for Amazon businesses, product videos. I've done commercials. 
uh, 30 second commercials for local businesses. These are professional with professional drone shots and 4K shots. So I've done a lot of that. However, documentary filmmaking is an art on its own. And I'm not a documentary filmmaker. So I need to I need to partner with those people. I have the vision for the documentary, but I want to make this job's worth doing is worth doing well. I want to make it as best as possible. And so that's why I was talking to Chad and I'm bringing other people in that are experts in these different areas. Chad was amazing. He gave me so much good advice and tips. One of the biggest things he was telling me is like, I've got a decent outline for the documentary already. I've shared that. Um, so if you look on the GoFundMe updates, I've shared that. And I think also on on the website, Carnivore Diet Movie, on the blog, I've shared a rough outline. That's changed drastically. One of Chad's biggest pieces of advice for me was get it more visual, storyboard it. So you have you have a good outline now, but get each section and then think of what is a really impactful visual because that's the medium we're working with on a documentary, right? It's visual and you write it all and you get outlines, you get everything, it's all in text, but you really got to think about those visuals. His other piece of advice for me was really think about the end goal. What do you want people to take away at the end of this? And it's real great feedback. This is all stuff I had in mind, of course, but um, he really, really uh, encouraged me. And I'm so excited about it now. I got off the phone with him. And I just I dug back into things. So I also have a gentleman named Adam and he's been commenting and stuff. And he's been he, he said, hey, if I have to sweep the floors, I'll sweep the floors. What do I got to do so I can just help you? And he's volunteered his time to help me. And he's been just amazing. So I've already started writing the first sections of this documentary movie. And now, since we last spoke, I've taken those from just a Word doc and I've converted them into storyboards where each one has pictures and visuals and a little call out. This is the footage or the video we're going to show on the screen. Adam has been so helpful on those things. He also helped me fix the website. I had a problem on the mobile version of the website. There's just so many little details. He's just been amazing. He's also a carnivore too. And so I'm like, what? we're going to put you as a uh, associate producer or something on this. I want to give him uh, credit where credit is due. I might also do a live stream uh, with him at some point. Uh, back to Chad, though, the documentary filmmaker. He's from down south, nowhere near me, hours and hours away. But he's just happens he's going to be in the area in a couple of weeks. So I invited him over to right here, the world famous Montello movie theater. And uh, maybe I can make a mistake or something, but he's going to come over and we're going to meet in person and we're going to talk about the documentary some more. And I'm so excited because it's, I'm going to have so much progress done on the storyboarding part that I talked about with Chad. So I'm going to share that with him uh, when he comes over. So that lots of really good progress. What else was there? Uh, Dr. Dr. Baker uh, reached out to me or his team reached out to me and they wanted to uh, interview me as well. So of course, I'm going to put Dr. Baker on the spot and say, hey, are you interested in participating in any way, shape or form on the carnivore diet movie? That's going to be in like a month from now. So we've got a while before that happens. Uh, but I'm excited for that. And then I've, I think I mentioned this before, but Dr. Barry reached out to me a couple of weeks ago. He commented on my 30 day video, which was just a huge honor. I have so much uh, admiration for what Dr. Barry's that man's literally saving countless lives through his work he's doing in his videos, just his t reversing type two diabetes video. If you want to go get a smile on your face, Google Dr. Barry reversing type two diabetes, 2000 comments. Almost everyone is Dr. Barry. You've saved my life. You've reversed my type two diabetes. Just amazing. He reached out to me and said, why don't we do a live Q and a on your channel? Uh, this was just before. So I think there was the low carb crew. So he was offline for a while. So I'm still trying to get back in touch with him and schedule it. I just said, Dr. Barry, I will literally, I'll close down the movie theater. I'll drop anything. If you say that we got to do it at three in the morning on a Tuesday, I will do it. So uh, I'm going to definitely ask him as well and say, I'm sorry, I don't want to put you on the spot, but any chance you're interested in participating, this is as well. Now, I, I, I want to be clear though. I don't want the documentary, the movie to just to be a bunch of doctors. I really want it to be real people showing their real examples with different health issues, not just obesity, but also depression, uh, uh, type two diabetes, there's, there's uh, depression, type two diabetes, arthritis, skin issues. Uh, I want to follow several different people, but I would like to attach one of the doctors to each of those. So maybe for example, we have someone that has IBS or Crohn's or stomach issues. I think that resonates with a lot of people because 
so many people I've, I've talked about the carnivore diet. They're like, yeah, I got all those things. I just, it's kind of my new normal now. My stomach is always gurgling and bubbling and I'm always inflamed and I, I'm always bloated and my stomach just always hurts. That's not normal. I don't have that on carnivore anymore. And so I want to cover that with a real person, but then have a doctor, maybe like in that case, it'd be Dr. Chafee. Maybe we do type two diabetes and that's Dr. Barry. And we can, we can kind of have a little bit, so we can have the expertise in there as well. Uh, what else was I going to say? There was another important point I was just thinking of. Well, I'll think of it in a second. So that's an exciting part of the, oh, this is what I was going to say. Carnivore, my friend Carnivore Ron is here. Thank you, Carnivore Ron. Let's see, where is this comment? Yay, Dr. Chafee. Carnivore Ron is 75, right, Ron? 75? Or no, was it, you're 72 and you've been doing Carnivore for five years. I had Carnivore Ron on my channel. He has his own YouTube channel now. It's amazing. And Carnivore Ron, I wanted to tell you, you inspired me a little bit. So for this Carnivore Diet documentary, I'm trying to think of, there's so many issues and I want to cover the main issues, but there's only a limited amount of time. And this is the problem nowadays. People don't have any attention span. You got TikTok and you got YouTube shorts and everything has to be quick or people drop off. So I want to cover several topics in the documentary, but I really want to focus on the major topics that affect most people. And one of those topics that just kind of really came to mind when I was talking to Chad and thinking about the documentary more, of course, obesity affects everybody. Uh, type 2 diabetes is another one that's pretty popular, but a third one, and there's going to be more than that, but a third one that I was really thinking about more was just aging, getting old. Everybody is worried about getting older. Everybody. If you're thinking about it right now, think about yourself. You, I don't want to get old. I'm going to get aches and pains and arthritis and it's, I'm going to have trouble standing up and you get sore and you get slow and you have all of those problems. And I don't want to uh, say that, hey, if you get old and you do carnivore, those things aren't going to happen. But I think my friend Carnivore Ron here is a testament to that. I also interviewed um, Anita from Ketogenic Woman. And I've had so many comments from folks in their 60s, 70s, and 80s thriving on carnivore, running circles around their counterparts on carnivore. I've, I hear it over and over and over again. Sorry, my phone's going on here. So I want to have a section. I want to have a section in the documentary about aging. And then I want to have someone, maybe someone like Carnivore Ron, if he's interested in participating, uh, like Carnivore Ron at the gym. Like what, look at that juxtaposition of you have an older person and usually most people are aging and they're slowing down, but then you have this older person that's in the gym and they're thriving. I want to just get that point across to people like, Hey, if you're going to get old, of course you might have some aches and pains and some of that, but how much of that is old age versus nutrition and inflammation? I think a big part of that is inflammation and poor nutrition. And so, yes, we're going to get old and we're going to get slow eventually and things like that. But I think most people that are older right now are suffering way more than they need to be. And it's due to their diet and nutrition. And I want to cover that uh, in the documentary. So thank you, Carnival Ron, for uh, inspiring that part of the documentary. And yeah, I encourage everyone, check out Carnival Ron's uh, YouTube channel he started recently. It's excellent. I've really been enjoying it. So I'm going to go through now. Please shoot me any questions. Put a big Q in front of it if you have it. I appreciate all of the nice comments and hopefully I won't I kept missing these last time. There's so many comments here, so it's sometimes hard to hit everything. Here we go. Question from Chris Homestead. How do you ever measure your ketones worried about them going too high? I don't, I, I have an expensive ketone monitor. I think I paid a couple hundred dollars for this thing six or seven years ago. Um, when I was doing keto, I would measure my ketones and that's because, you know, I'd have salad and I'd have stuff with carbs in it. I get this question a lot now and I'm like, why would I measure ketones now? There's literally nothing I could do. Like in my mind, I'm like, I'm going to measure something so that I can change something to affect that measurement. There's literally nothing I could change in my diet right now to affect my ketones. I'm eating zero carbs. Well, I guess I should be careful because like butter and some stuff, even meat has some carbs in it. But right now I'm doing the lion diet. I just started that a couple of days ago. If you just jumped on, I'm only eating ruminant meat, salt, and water. I'm, I have no more dairy, no more butter, nothing for the last three days. And before that it was beef, butter, bacon, eggs. So I don't, I don't measure ketones when I was doing keto and I'd have salads and the low carb stuff. I would measure it then just to kind of keep a closer eye on it. 
it would be interesting to measure it now just to see, but uh, there's nothing I can really do about it at this point. Charger Mopar, the the original, running on 40 plus years of being a carnivore, amazing. He says, I'm wondering if the carnivore movie is about people improving their health or is it just including carnivores who never considered it for health? Um, that's a good question. It's about people improving their health. Yeah. It, so the, the goal is to follow people that are like, I have a horrible health issue. Uh, maybe it's depression and anxiety. I've heard that the carnivore diet can help from Dr. Jordan Peterson and all these other people. So I'm going to try it for a year. And then we're going to follow these people that are trying to improve their depression or IBS or obesity or diabetes. Someone said, as a homesteader, aren't you sustaining your family? It's all part of living healthy family and fun. Yep, absolutely. It's all about family. That's what my friend uh, Dante said that was really touching in one of his earlier videos. He said, ultimately, when he first started Lion Diet, ultimately, I'm doing this for my family. Question, you filmed the kayak tour you took by yourself. Will you do one with the family? Yes and yes. This kayak thing, I, I've been so busy with the movie theater and the documentary movie. Like I said, I had several uh, discussions with people and I've been working on the outline all week. So I don't want people to think I'm off kayaking every day, but I was able to sneak away for a couple hours today on Father's Day. And so a couple days ago, I, I went kayaking and I filmed it. That'll be on Thursday's video. It was one heck of an adventure. I, I think you guys will really like that video. So be sure to subscribe and check that. Every Thursday, 4 p.m. Central, I post a new video. I've been doing it for years now. Those are usually family vlog videos with a little taste of carnivore. And that's exactly what this one is. To answer your question, though, yes, because today was Father's Day and I can't put my camera down. It's just such a beautiful sight and it's such a great time with my family. We went out. The girls, Jen and myself, went on a kayaking adventure for two or three hours today, and I filmed the whole thing. So Emma was there. Uh, Emma and I had, oh, we had some great food today, too, on the lion diet, by the way. We had two, uh, we each had a, a strip steak, but we also had, um, it's from a company, I, I always forget their name, I should know it by now. Sorry, I just got to Google this real quick. Uh, they do regenerative uh, farming it's grass-fed beef future something force of force of nature i always think it's future for some reason the name of the company is for nature oh hopefully we're still on you guys still hear me okay i just had a my audio is going a little weird here let me just switch this here Can everyone hear me okay still? Let's scroll down here. I'm going to lose my spot. Okay, you can still hear me okay. Can, can someone else come? Okay, okay, good. For some reason. What about now? Can you still hear me now? If you guys could just comment real quick. I really apologize. All of a sudden, my computer speaker started echoing everything I was saying. I had these issues last time. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So we, we filmed uh, we filmed with the girls today kayaking. Yeah, so I'm sorry. That's what I was saying. So the company's name is Force of Nature Meat. I'm not an affiliate for them. However, they did send me uh, some meat to test out, and I, I didn't have to pay for it. I said, I'll test it out. If I don't like it, I'm going to give an honest review. If I do like it, I'm going to have an honest review. I loved it. It was so good. Emma and I made these. This is what they do that's really cool. This is, we, we tried their bison, which is kind of lower fat, so that's not great from that perspective, but everything else about it was great, and I had a big fatty steak next to it. But we tried bison, and it's their, um, they mix in liver and heart with the bison, so it's the ground meat, but you can't taste it at all. So A lot of people are not getting enough of that organ meat. They're scared to eat it by itself. Well, this is ground into the meat. This was one of the most tasty, delicious burgers I've ever made. Emma and I made two big, two, uh, two burgers with it. It's called their ancestral blend. So we took a video of it. I'm going to do a video and I might sign up as an affiliate and then we'll have more fun to go towards the documentary movie. I'm really hesitant to do anything where I'm an affiliate or I get like a kickback, but it, the stuff was just so good. And the company, being the compassionate carnivores we are, they do this regenerative. I had a big phone call with them. Um, 
one of the people running it. They do this regenerative farming, and it's just it's really really good stuff. It's all grass fed. So uh, more to come on that. I don't know where I went off on that tangent, but we did film that with the family. Oh, that's what Emma and I ate before we went kayaking for a couple of hours. Got a bunch of video. I wish I would have taken my drone with because this this river is it's so amazing. I told the girls, I was like, it's like you're on the jungle cruise to Disney. You're going down this little, it's a 12 feet wide river and it's all meandering. It's just beautiful. We saw, I saw a deer. Uh, the first time I went out there with Jenna, I saw a baby deer, a doe, just drinking out of the water 10 feet from us. I was like, is this like an animatronic thing? This just doesn't seem real. We saw a beaver, and I saw, I saw more deer when we were out there again. So that will be on our video for sure. Someone said, what's that behind you moving a cat? I have no idea, and now you're freaking me out a little bit. There's no cat in here. We're at the Montello Theater. Do you really see something behind me, or are you joking with me, London voice? I'm going to have to watch back now. There's no cat here that I'm aware of. This is a very old building. Everyone asked me if it's haunted. The building goes back to 1859. We've heard rumors about that. I haven't seen anything or believe that it is, but uh, hopefully it wasn't a mouse. That would be the only thing I could imagine that might Possibly make it in here behind me. It's the name of your cat. Oh my goodness. I hope there's not a cat here. Uh, Erica asked, did you lose 80 pounds in, in 100 days? No, I didn't. Sorry, I got to make that more clear. I am down 43 pounds. And I'm not good at 100 days yet. I'm down 43. I, I'm down 80 pounds from my heaviest. At my heaviest, I was 260. I'm under... 180 now so i'm down 80 pounds from my heaviest but before i did carnivore i did keto for years and my weight went down and up and down and up and down and up but from my heaviest from my absolute heaviest i'm down 80 pounds and i, I would like to mention too the last 40 pounds that i just lost on carnivore those were by far the hardest 40 pounds i tried everything before carnivore i did a five-day water fast um I, i've tried so many different things and i just the weight would not budge. I was plateaued on keto and nothing would go down. So uh, carnivore was the only thing that broke me through that plateau. Oh, Grandma Carnivore is on here again. Hi, Mom. She says, looking forward to the documentary, Water, Ribeye, Butter, Electrolyte Safe. That's awesome. And Happy Father's Day to Bill, too. I sent you a little video of the girls all wishing me happy Father's Day, but we were actually kayaking when I sent that. I don't know if my reception was good enough to send that video. Rebecca Burns, I registered to be a participant. Awesome. Thank you. Yep. So if you go to carnivoredietmovie.com, there's a simple form you can fill out. You can submit a little video and you can register to participate. Let's see what else we have here. Carnivore Ron said, yay, Dr. Chafee. Yeah, he's the best. Charger Mopar also, he were interviewed by Anthony as well. And he's intelligent for sure and a great example physically. Yeah, right. Isn't that the case? You, it's so funny. I saw there was a debate at one point between some vegan doctors and some carnivore doctors. It was just kind of funny looking at it. You see Dr. Anthony Chafee. The guy's just ripped. He's just, he looks like a bodybuilder. He's been doing carnivore for years now. And then you see like a vegan doctor. And uh, I don't know. I don't want to be mean, but hair's falling out and they're taking naps all day long. Ben Holiday says, I appreciate you documenting and sharing your carnivore journey. Started my own a few weeks back and the regular updates from you and longer term view from Dante are a great inspiration. Keep it up. Absolutely. Thank you. That's, that's the main reason I keep doing it. So many comments like that. I've had so many, dozens and dozens and dozens of comments from people saying, I saw your 30 day video. I went and did more research. I decided to start carnivore. That was 60 days ago I did that 30-day video. And over the last 60 days, I've had so many comments from people saying, it's completely changed my life. They're like, you weren't lying. My depression's clearing up. I'm losing weight. My uh, arthritis and my inflammation and my pain in my back is gone. My sciatic is gone. I just comment after comment. It's so inspirational. Makes me want to just keep doing more and more videos like that. Rebecca said, love Dr. Barry. I agree 100%. Karen S. says, helps with menopause as well, a game changer. Yes, I did an interview with Anita from Ketogenic Woman, and she was talking about this. I think it helps women all around. Uh, I guess I don't want to speak out of turn, but this is what I've heard is 
one of the problems we have right now in this day and age is meat has been so demonized and cholesterol has been so demonized. It's just like, I think people are deficient in it. And when you don't have enough cholesterol, it really throws off your hormones. I think that's why people like my daughter, Lily, they're having issues with their period and things coming earlier and stuff like that. And it's, and it's horrible for so many. And these doctors are putting them on birth control. I talked about that whole story in another video with Lily, but I think it's because their hormones are out of whack because they're not getting enough cholesterol. Dr. Kiltz did a really good video on this too, talking about start building that cholesterol back up, it balances the hormones. It helps with things like menopause and periods and mood and testosterone and just general mood all around. It's very important. Susan mentioned a uh, question. Yes, comment. Don't forget about blood pressure being fixed. That's another big one as well. Here's a question. Third day on carnivore, the stomach issues are real. Any tips for that? It's very hard. First couple days are very tough for a lot of people. My best tips are, I, sometimes I sound like a broken record, but do your research. Dr. Barry has a very, very, very good video. It's completely free. You can go watch it. It's called Carnivore Mistakes. And some of the things he'll talk about is like, are you getting enough electrolytes? Tons and tons of water. I had no stomach issues. I had none of that keto flu. Neither did Lily and neither did Emma. Both of my daughters didn't have any of that. We followed Dr. Barry's advice. Um, that's one of the big things. Some of it's unavoidable, unfortunately, but it will pass. Just give it a couple days. Uh, drink tons of water. Some people will get some of that anyhow, but uh, it, it will pass. And once it passes, it'll get way easier. Once you get into that deep ketosis, your cravings will go away. You're not even. You're going to have to remind yourself to eat something. Let's see. Jen, she's days on carnivore. Awesome. Used to have digestive issues that I could only describe to my doctor. Feels like grinding glass in my stomach. My doctor has no clue. No more with carnivore. Congratulations. David. Really good job. I love hearing that. I, I've, I was diagnosed with IBS. At one point I was diagnosed with Crohn's disease, but that was a misdiagnosis. But I've had stomach issues for years. I had my gallbladder removed. I swear if I was on carnivore, I never would have had my gallbladder, gallbladder removed. Doctor was like, oh, it's borderline. Maybe this is your stomach issue. I don't know if you want to take it. I was like, just anything. Give me some relief. Take it out. Took it out. It did nothing. I no longer have a gallbladder. I still had the stomach issues and the IBS issues and the bloating and the, all those issues. Nothing ever fixed it. Not even removing my gallbladder or any of the medication they gave me. The only thing that ever fixed it for me uh, was a carnivore diet. Where's Wendy? I know what this comment. Some of you might not know. Dave is growing his hair back. Yes, she's talking about Mr. Dave Mack. The man has an awesome uh, YouTube channel. And uh, he just did a video. It was so cool. Um, his, he had a picture from a couple of years ago, a big bald spot. And it's completely filled in now. He's literally growing his hair back in Harvard. I see some of these things. It sounds so unbelievable. I'm so sorry. I probably went black there for a minute. Man, I got to get a new mouse. I have this fancy little mouse here, and there's a button on it. I push on the side. It kicked me right out. So anyhow, yeah, Dave Mack, awesome YouTube channel, uh, growing his hair back on Carnivore, and he has the video and pictures to prove it. He actually has video before when he was, had a bald spot, and it's filling in now. So hopefully everyone can see me and hear me again. Sorry about that. All right, I'm going through here and let's see some more questions. Oh, here's one. Great one. Yes, absolutely. Midnight Man is trying to get Dr. Philip Ovadia in the movie. He's great. He's amazing. If you guys aren't familiar with him, oh, go check him out. So he's a heart surgeon. He's done thousands of operations. And he wrote a book called Stay Off My Operating Room Table. And guess what his advice is? It's basically eat the carnivore diet. He did the same thing. I think he lost 100 pounds. He was morbidly obese himself. And he was worried he was going to see himself on the operating table. And uh, he's helping so many people. He's been on quite a few podcasts lately. I would absolutely love to have that man. Uh, thank you for mentioning that. He's on my radar for sure. And uh, I haven't reached out to him yet, though. So you, you just reminded me to do that. I've reached out to pretty much everyone else at this point. 
question. Isn't your documentary the same as reversed greetings from a fan from the Netherlands? No, it's not. So reversed, I'm so glad there's any carnivore documentary out there. Reverse was a really cool series. It was several episodes. I'm doing one documentary movie. I, my goal is to try to get it out to more people. And one of the things I think I'm doing a little bit differently is I really want to follow several different people with different issues over the course of a year. I really want to get some inspirational people. Um, I thought Reverse was, was great. I Honestly, though, I didn't, get, I didn't get hooked into it. And when I see someone's story like Sean from Intentional Carnivore or even Carnivore Ron, um, just thriving on carnivore. Those things inspire me. And that's a good hook into a documentary. And that's what I want to have a little bit differently is really focused on the people, the examples, and the inspiration they can provide. And just be perfectly honest and show the whole thing. So it's, it's drastically different. And the other big goal I have, which who knows if it's going to come to fruition or not, but I want to get this on one of the big streaming services. And uh, sometimes it's, I, I have some experience doing that in the past with another TV show that my wife and I will help produce and put together. But uh, I, I welcome, like, I, I hope so someone left me a comment and they're like, what makes you the person to do this documentary? I said, I wish I wasn't. I wish like somebody else would say, I want to do a carnivore documentary that covers real people for a year. I haven't seen it. And so I'm not positioning myself as, hey, I'm the carnivore expert. I've only been doing this for 90 days. I'm just trying to do something that I don't see out there. If someone else wants to take it over, or if this stirs up a thing and other people are like, yeah, I should do a kind of more documentary. I'll be so happy. I'll be so happy if there's, it's not like competition. It's like if there's 10 other one of these, we just, the more we get the word out, the more we can help people. Aaron C said, I love Force of Nature Ancestry Blend, the most tasty ground beef ever. Yes, isn't it good? I hate to hype things up because again, I'll go buy it. You just go to their website. I, I may sign up as an affiliate and then use those funds to help with the documentary movie. I've been very hesitant to do anything with affiliates, but it was so good. It was just delicious. Emma said the same. I have it. I'll have it in a future video. Not this Thursday, probably the next Thursday video. Emma was like, this is one of the best burgers I've ever eaten. And she, she's perfectly honest. If she didn't like it, she'd be like, this tastes horrible. I'm never eating it. She just say it right on camera. I told her, I said, be perfectly honest. That stuff was delicious. And even more so knowing that we're getting that organ meat that a lot of us are frankly deficient in. Okay, let's see here. If you have any questions, please just put a cue next to them. Got a lot of nice comments here. Taylor says, I've been carnivore for two weeks now and I feel great. Sleep is great and my studying has been very dialed in. Possible title for the movie, The Carnivore Collective. I'll add that to the list. So my friend Adam that's been helping me, we've been putting it all in the spreadsheet because I've been getting great comments. There's always so many. That's a great one. I like it when there's consideration. The CC, that's great. The Carnivore Collective. One thing I'm hesitant about, and, and I'm always open for ideas. I keep saying this is our documentary movie. Having the word carnivore in the title, I think it's necessary. And then I'm like, ah, is it? Because it's going to scare away a lot of people early. So uh, that's a great one. I will add that to the list. I'm going to share this list again, and we're just going to basically go through and vote and then and narrow it down a little bit more. One, one thing I would love, it's obviously taken already, but um, the proper human diet. Dr. Barry has a book he wrote about that. He references that all the time. That's another one I like, and I kind of like that one because I really want to have carnivore on it in one hand, but then I know that that's going to scare some people up. Because, oh, that's crazy. I'm not even going to watch that sort of thing. So it's a really tricky thing coming up with the name, but that's a great idea. I'm going to add it to the list. Thank you. Some more questions here. Yeah, so we were talking about Dave Mack, and then I got cut off. Dave Mack's hair is growing back. Can you can someone post his YouTube channel? I always forget it's zero carb or no carb. You can just Google it here quick. I'm scared to click away. Zero carb life. I've, I've watched too many uh, YouTube channels. If someone could post Dave's is zero carb life, is that no, no, that's uh, that's her. Anyhow, I'm sorry. I'm going on a tangent here. If someone could post Dave Mack's uh, YouTube channel name. I've been on his channel. I know his name, but I always forget because it's zero carb or no carb or something like that. 
Comment from Ali. I'm type two diabetic and doing ketovore. I'm down 38 pounds in three months. I told my doctor what I'm doing. She told me since I'm diabetic, I have to have a small amount of sugar. You can't imagine. Yeah, unbelievable. Jeez, it's just on. It's truly unbelievable. Go eat some fruit. Have some sugar. You're luckily you're smart enough to uh, to know better. Tina said, "I wonder if hair can go from gray back to color." I wonder that too. I I said that in an earlier video around day thirty. I have some salt and pepper right here. But I swear, I got to look back at some of my videos. I meant to do that. I swear, this was almost completely white at one point. But I don't know. I have to be careful. I, I, uh, I get very enthusiastic about things. But it looks like it is a little bit. The other thing that's crazy in carnivore is health. So I've mentioned that before. But my inflammation's completely gone. But I, I came across this uh, video. They were talking about how you know how your fingernails grow. And if you break a bone, it'll heal itself. Your cavities in your teeth, if it's a certain type of cavity and not a really deep one, it can actually kind of fill in if you're, and it does so a lot better if you're eating proper human diet. Oh, thank you so much, Janet. Janet became a YouTube member. Again, if you press the little join button below the channel, it's just a couple dollars. You will get insider information. We'll give you updates and you get more access to us earlier. And there's lots of content that members only get, but every penny from that goes towards the carnivore diet documentary oh this is a cool question i wonder if carnivore cookbooks is in the works that's a great question i i did that interview with anita from ketogenic woman if you guys haven't seen her channel i'd go check it out it's ketogenic woman but right now she does mostly carnivore recipes she's got some really creative things Evan and i enjoy watching her channel she has a blog but she does a she's got one of the best youtube cooking channels if you go watch her channel i said this to her in her interview it's so professionally done the lighting, the camera shots, the clarity, uh, the editing. It's, it's, I said to her, I said, you got to be on the Food Network or something. And right now she's doing mostly carnivore recipes. And I asked her, I was like, do you have any aspirations? Like, It'd be cool like if you could get on a cable channel or something like that. I know it sounds crazy, but you go to grocery stores or Costco now, there's so many keto foods in there. A lot of those are junk, by the way. That's another story. But it, it shows you if Costco's carrying it, how popular keto is. And so I, have, I haven't seen it yet, but a cable, like one of those Food Network shows or something that was only keto, that would be pretty cool. But uh, Anita was saying that she's thought about doing a cookbook. Um, I don't think she's, she has anything in the works, but that would be great. Someone said the feedback is terrible. Is that still the case? Zero carb life. Dave is zero carb life. Zero carb. Thank you. I apologize to Dave for forgetting that. I've been on his channel. He's got an awesome channel, too. He's been on so much good content. For some reason, I think like his... Oh, you know what it is? It's there's there's my zero carb life, which is someone completely different. That always confuses me because I've, I've watched her channel uh, quite a few times too. Yeah, he's just zero carb. Can you guys still hear me? Okay, I had a couple more people say we've got a little audio issue again. Oh, no. Well, I'll probably have to end this then. I don't want to keep you guys on here if the audio is bad. I don't know what this issue is. I've got good connection. I am getting an Ethernet cable. I'm waiting to go from Amazon. So I was hesitant to do this until I got that Ethernet cable. I got to run it 100 feet through a bunch of walls. But okay, now people are saying audio is good. Janet just said, uh, Carrie, Amanda is great too. Is it? Are you talking about uh, Carnivorous Me, I think is Amanda's channel? She is, uh, she's great. And I'm, uh, I'm having her on my channel. I'm having Amanda from Carnivorous Me on my channel. Uh, I'm interviewing her on Wednesday. So that'll be kind of cool. Uh, someone just said, I believe Maria Emmerich has done carnivore cookbooks. So there you go. Maybe that's one to check out. I think on carnivore cookbooks is there's Anita has some really good recipes. It's fun to switch things up every now and then. I end up defaulting to the same thing. Although I did try that bison today, but I'm usually a ribeye or a steak. And then I don't really have any need to snack or anything. But uh, it's been fun cooking with Emma and trying to experiment and try some different things. Dave is no carb life. That's what it is. Yeah, I'm trying in the background here. There we go. 
Yeah, Dave has an awesome channel. I just wanted to get the link, give the man some respect. If you guys haven't seen Dave's channel, I'd highly recommend it. So he interviewed me on his channel. Uh, I did a live stream with him last week. And he's he's putting on some really good content. And he's the one we were talking about earlier, Dave, that uh, he actually reversed balding. And he's got some video and pictures before and after. It's amazing. He's reversing his, ball, his balding. Maybe the name of the movie can be Let's Meet. Yeah, that's another good one. Susan, thank you so much. Susan is always a great commenter and uh, checking out a lot of our videos. I just saw you're live now. You have a new name for this carnivore group. Not really. I, I don't know. What do you mean, Susan? Like, uh, I know Dante and some other guys, they have like a Facebook group. Maybe I should do something like that. Uh, I don't have any group. Uh, I just have where you can become a member. And so if you click below on YouTube, you can join and be a member. So I guess that's somewhat of a group. We do special updates and kind of member-only updates in there. But uh, I don't have a Facebook group as of yet. Nathan asked, did anyone else get lightheaded? Could it be lack of sodium? I haven't gotten lightheaded. If anyone else has, please leave a comment below. I always resort to this when anyone has any issue on carnivore. It's like, how are your electrolytes? Are you getting enough water? Are you getting enough fat? So those three things. Anytime I've ever had an issue, which has fortunately been rare for me, I can usually remedy it with one of those three things. I would check into your electrolytes and see how those are doing. Uh, Janet, our newest member, asked, how do you see the perks or get the page where I can see the members-only info? I'm tech challenged. So if you go to uh, Homestead How on YouTube, like my channel homepage, you'll see a bunch of little buttons. And there's a community tab. It's kind of like a blog where people can just blog. And so I'll post the community tab for everybody, but then I can also post to just members only. And since you're subscribed and you're part of that, Janet, you'll likely get a little notification when I do one of those. It'll probably show that. Uh, but make sure that you're subscribed and you've checked to get notifications. Otherwise, if you just go there, just go to my channel and then click on community, you can see all of the updates. And since you're a member, you'll additionally have access to the member-only updates that no one else can see. All right, I got a bunch of people saying audio is good now. Sometimes a little wonky, but pretty good. Okay. I'll look close from the microphone. That seems up. Tina Kathleen, another new member. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Every penny is going to help towards the carnivore diet documentary. I didn't mention this earlier either. We're at over a thousand dollars on GoFundMe. Every penny going to the documentary. And then um, the shirts, there's man, about three, four hundred dollars in shirts. A couple hundred dollars in super chats. People have been so generous with the super chats. And uh, I, I'm going to tally all those up and post them on the blog so there's a good accounting. It's tricky because there's always a lag with YouTube. The other thing with super chat and YouTube is YouTube takes a chunk of those. So I have to put the amount that we're getting after that. But uh, yeah, we've got some we really appreciate people donating and joining and things like that. Uh, Miss Jones girl says she's been transitioning into the carnivore diet for six weeks, still having trouble staying away from almond and or peanut butter. Feels so much shame while I'm eating a small bowl of it. Ah, oh, I just stopped doing that. I know it's so easy for me to say. Uh, I, I always say, I mean, you've been going for six weeks. That's impressive. Set yourself a little mini goal, like one week for seven days. I'm not going to eat any almonds. I'm not going to eat any peanut butter. You can do it for seven days. Anybody can do it for seven days. Trust me, you're going to feel so much better. One of the things that just really stalled me out on keto, I tried to be such a good ketogenic dieter. Uh, I'd get mixed nuts, almonds, peanuts. Uh, I get these mixed nuts from Costco. I swear, those things would stall me out so bad, and I think they were causing inflammation. It's so hard to pinpoint on keto because you're eating so many things, but just try it. You can go for seven days, this Jones girl. Go for seven days, and then once you hit seven days, say, no, I'm going to go for 30 days. You can do it. You'll be the captain of your own ship. You'll be in total control. You're, right now, those almonds and peanut butter are in control of you. It's so much, uh, it's so liberating when you when you make that switch. You're like, nope, I'm in control now. I'm going to eat what I want, when I want. Uh, comment for Nathan. Yeah, this is a good point. If you're getting enough fluids, you might not be eating enough. I'm fighting that problem getting light-headed. Yeah, so that, that, that could be one of the things. Eat a little bit more. Oh, wow, Peggy. This one hits close to home. She has twins who have HS. So if you guys aren't familiar, in my 30-day update, I talked about my daughter, Lily, who's 
just graduated from high school. She's had horrible HS for five years. We took her to several dermatologists, and I, uh, I get upset talking about it, but they gave her pills, they gave her creams, and the last one, after four years traveling all around the state trying to get her help for this painful, painful HS, which is like acne or inflammation, we had it in her chest and back. The last one said, we'll give her this injection, but it's going to shut down her immune system. Like, no way. This is nothing else to work. These guys keep throwing pills at her. Not one of them mentioned diet. And long story short, Lily went on carnivore with me very shortly, uh, about a week into it. When I was about a week into it, Lily went on carnivore. Right around day eight, almost half of her HS was cleared off on her back. This was after nothing else these dermatologists tried to work. Not one of them mentioned nutrition. Lily continued on carnivore till day 30. It's almost completely gone. She then, against my wishes, but she's 18, I let her do what she wants. She decided to go back on keto and try keto for a while. Then she started flaring up again, and then she started doing carnivore again. But uh, Peggy, I feel for you, and I'm happy for you at the same time. If you can stick to it, it's been really amazing. I've done so much research and dug into it. Lots of other similar stories from people with skin conditions or HS that um, are clearing up on carnivore. It also hits close to home because you have twins and uh, my wife and I have triplets. None of my triplets had. It was my triplets plus one, Lily. Sheldon, just found you a week or so ago, but enjoy watching your videos. Good luck. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Oh, I got a couple of super chats in here. I missed it. Here we go. Lou B. $10 super chat. Thank you so much. All of it's going towards the carnivore diet movie, so you're helping others. I want to try the lion diet. I'm 25, a little overweight. Day in and day out, I feel fatigued. I don't know how that feels. I want to do the lion diet because I hear amazing things, and hopefully you can do the same for me. Best of luck to you. I would say try it. I would say if you're scared to try it, watch Dante from Frigno Freedom. He did lion diet. You do also have the option of starting with... Uh, BBBE, just carnivore, which is carnivore diet. Lion is carnivore diet, but that's a little bit less strict. Maybe you try that and then go into lion. But hey, if you're willing to go right in lion, that's what Dante did. And it worked for him. Just do your research. Watch the Dr. Barry carnivore mistakes video. Make sure you're getting enough electrolytes and water so you don't just jump in and you, you get a horrible keto food that's totally avoidable if you do it uh, properly. If I hear you on the fatigue. I think that's a I think there's an epidemic of fatigue out there. I think there's so many people walking around fatigued. They've been doing it for months, years, decades, and it just seems normal to them. Like, oh, this is just how I'm supposed to feel. And now I feel normal because I feel this way for years. As we said in the past, you can't see the fog until you're out of the fog. And that was one of the biggest things for me is so much more energy, no fatigue, no brain fog on carnival. I've said it before, but that's worth the price of addition alone. If, if I was still 80 pounds heavier, I would take that if I could not have if I can have all these other results that I've had on carnivore, no fatigue, no brain fog, higher energy, motivation, better mood, so much better on carnivore. So you can do it. Best of luck. Do your research. Dr. Barry has so many good free videos. Those videos are invaluable. I mean, they literally saved my life watching his videos. Dante from Fregno Freedom inspired me, but I'm like, this is just crazy. I need to talk to a doctor. I need to see someone that has some expertise and some things behind it. And you get all that for free on, on Dr. Barry's videos Let's see what other questions we have here oh here we go susan said i'm seeing posted by tina kathleen welcome to hh carnivore and friends which made me wonder what that meant yep that's the youtube uh, membership so it's not a facebook group but you can on YouTube, a lot of people aren't aware of this. YouTube has this. I guess only certain channels are allowed to do it if you get a certain number of subscribers. But you can actually join my channel, Homestead How, and there's different levels. Like there's one that's just a couple dollars. And a lot of people like Ketogenic Woman does this, and that's just that's what she gets paid for putting out really good content. In my case, I'm not taking it for the content. I'm taking any of the money we get from that membership, putting it towards a carnivore diet documentary. And like I mentioned earlier, you get special special access to perks and I do members only comments and I'm sharing stuff about the documentary to the members first. Uh, so if you're interested in that, you can press the little join button below on YouTube. Miss Jones, thank you so much for the encouragement. Yeah, thank you so much for the nice comments. The carnival community is just awesome. Mark, 
Do you have knowledge on teens growth, meaning not growing after a certain age? I don't. That might be a good question for Dr. Barry. He does a live stream every Monday. You can just post questions to. I would suspect, just talking to Dr. Anthony Chafee this week, he was talking about height and growth, kind of like what you're saying. And he was telling me, there's, it, it's not even like in debate. He's like, there's so much science out there that shows people that historically ate a meat-only diet were giants compared to us now. Literally the average height of a man right now, this is what Dr. Anthony Chafee, he could speak to this so much better than I could. I'm paraphrasing what he was saying, but and right now the average height of a man in the U.S. is I don't know, five, nine, five, ten. It just keeps going down and down and down. But if you look at like Cherokee Indians, Indians um, you, you can look at science and see how tall they were and uh, their bones and stuff like that. Archaeologists dig up. They were so much taller than we were. And then Dr. Chafee was quoting all these other groups like Kiwi and um, Mongols. And he just listed all of these groups that were just so much taller than we are now. And they primarily only ate meat. Susan said she has twins plus two all girls. Awesome. That's awesome, Susan. I have all girls too. Triplets plus one. I feel you. It's kind of uh, what people keep asking. What was it having triplets when they were when they were younger? I I always tell them, and this is no joke. It's a blur. It went by so fast when they were young. It was just it was like running a factory, like an assembly line. Change the diaper, feed this one, change this one's clothes, put this one to bed, and now do the next one. And then by the time you're done with the third one, you start it all over again. Let's see what other questions we have here. Deborah said to Tina, I had almost all gray hair. I went strict keto with lots of fasting. My hair is black again. What gray hair I have is some light browning. I'm amazed. I'm more on carnivore now. Wow, that's amazing. See, now that would be fun as a little uh, anecdote to have a carnivore documentary. Like, hey, I'm starting this. Look, my hair is quite gray. And here I am at the end a year later and look at the look at the change. Just little examples of that. Awesome, Deborah. That's amazing. Good job. Someone asked, how many days have you been eating carnivore now or months? You're very inspiring. I'm two weeks. I just hit day 90. I'm 10 days away from 100 days. And three days ago, I switched over to do the lion diet for extreme version. Congratulations. Two weeks. Trust me, my friend. It it's better and better. Oh my goodness. I remember like well, I remember some of these specific things. I've done quite a few videos, but like, four weeks was amazing. It just gets better and better. Tina Kathleen, love this comment. Father's Day today, spent it with the family, had a great time. Your family must love the new you and have energy to get all those homestead projects. Unbelievable. It's unbelievable. You're absolutely right. I sorry, I'm getting so excited hitting the thing. It's absolutely correct. I have so much energy now. I've been more productive on two levels, physically getting stuff done and not getting fatigued. Emma and I built this huge, this was a huge project. It should have taken months and months. We, just, we did it in a couple of weeks. It was amazing. And I had the energy to do it before I would have been fatigued. But I also had the brain power. I'm making clear decisions where it's like, organizing the project and putting it all together where before I would have made so many mistakes to backtrack. And then yes, the relationship with the family, the whole dynamic has changed, especially with Emma being that we're both carnivores and we eat together all the time and we're, we can kind of reminisce together and like just talk about it. And yeah. It's, it's been life changing on so many different levels. And the other thing is it's so hard to describe to people, but that liberation, that freedom of not being in control by anything anymore. Everyone always seems to have some sort of vices. I have none anymore. And for me, it was always food. But there's other stuff too, like gambling. or I never drank alcohol very much, but that runs in my family. I always had a highly addictive behavior. But uh, not being in control, and instead being in total control, is very liberating. Also living without fear is just crazy. Like I said, I had that interview with Dr. Chafee before. I would have literally crashed my car into a tree to get out of that before. No way. I don't want to speak to, I'm, this guy's a neurosurgeon. I'm going to talk to him. What the heck am I going to say? I would have been terrified. I don't have that fear anymore. I have no anxiety. I, and I'm not putting on an act and 
a little anxiety, but I'm trying to break. I'm like, I'm a tough guy. It's just, there's no anxiety. Anymore. I mean, you can get so much more done. The connections you're making with people. Imagine that I was scared to talk to Dr. Anthony Chafee before, and I hadn't done that. Instead, I did that because I wasn't scared. And I talked to the man for three hours. I talked to him for an hour offline. I consider him a friend now. Like I could just call him up right now and talk to him. He's just, he's an amazing person. And now I have uh, all the other things besides another human connection I wouldn't have had otherwise. All thanks to carnivore. I know I'm the carnivore hype man, but it's just true. It's clearly true. I was so anxious, so nervous before. I, I hated phone calls with people. I, I would do anything to get out of uh, meeting with people and talking with people and interacting with people. And it's completely opposite now. Great, great comment, Tina. Thank you. Are there carnivore books I must investigate? That's a good question. I I've, I've been meaning to catch up and read a few. Uh, you know, like uh, I think Dr. Barry has some. You guys comment down below the exact ones. And I know Dr. Barry has he's a best selling author. He's got a couple books. You like the proper human diet? That would be a good one. Uh, I know Dr. Philip Obadia too. He's the one stay off my operating room table. He has a book as well. I gotta get that one. I, I was like, I'm gonna pick that thing up. I'm gonna go on Amazon. So you've just reminded me. I'm gonna do the same. Yeah, Susan said exactly. Routine definitely was necessary with multiples. I bet you needed three arms with triplets. Yeah, that was so important. Being organized, having a routine, having a plan. Like you couldn't you couldn't just wing it with, uh, with multiples for sure. The other fun thing, Susan. I don't know if you experienced this, but I remember this vividly. I'm sure you experienced it as well. But for our triplets, we actually had a three seater stroller, three in a row. So it was like a big train, and. It was so nice because people would come up and they'd be amazed. Oh my goodness, you got triplets. It's amazing. And you get sweet um, older ladies and grandmas coming up and they want to hold them and talk to them. It was so cool, but it was it was bittersweet because on the flip side, we were just exhausted. We were just trying to eat groceries and then go home and then we got to do it all over again. We did not have a lot of help, Jen and I. Uh, fortunately, our church was awesome. Every now and then they'd send us over, but we didn't have a lot of family nearby when we had our girls. So, it was very, very hard, but I am I'm so thankful. It's a, it's a weird way to have three kids at one time, but I would not change it for anything in the world. Thomas, the weirdest things to change on carnivore. I don't have vertigo anymore. I climb ladders like a squirrel now. I make it to, couldn't make it to the third step before. That's amazing. That's the weirdest thing. I don't know. I, I, I was talking to someone, they're like, they wrote it all down. Chad, the documentary filmmaker, he's like, I write it all down. I'm like, I have to do that. I started doing it and I'm not organized enough. I just put it on my phone. But yeah, I keep discovering new things too. Like, oh, wait, that was an issue for me pre carnivore. Now it's not an issue anymore. There's just, there's, I could list, I could, there's two dozen things that have changed on carnivore. It's just amazing. Kimberly said, it's nice to have someone to do carnivore with. I have family visiting for the first time since starting carnivore. And it's a little awkward because I don't have anything much to eat. Yeah, it's tough when you get around friends and family. I, uh, we had a bunch of family over this weekend for a little pre-Father's Day yesterday on Saturday. And uh, I made up a bunch of grass-fed burger patties. And everyone ate those, but most people ate them with the bun and the cheese. But I don't know. It worked out fine. I don't push anyone or judge anyone, but yeah, weird things like Kind of like people feel a little good when he's doing that thing. Look at Mr. Goody Two Shoes over there, but I don't, I don't try to push it or anything. They had a bunch of strawberry shortcake and some cookies and stuff like that. But it doesn't bother me at all. I, the only thing that bothers me is like for some people, I'm like, I know this isn't going to go well. For you. You're going to be inflamed. You're going to be sore. You're going to have issues. You have trouble sleeping. You're going to be like, why do, I, why do I have this brain fog now? And you're not going to realize why. And I know why, and I see it, but it's not. I, I just put the example out there. If someone, if someone asks me, oh, my God, I'll talk for hours about carnivore, but I'm not, I'm not trying to push anybody or change anybody. But, yeah, I hear you. It's hard when you have family get-togethers. We've got the triple birthday party coming up, and uh, so we'll see how that goes. Because my thing is I don't really care what anybody says to me, but it, it's, it's hard for Emma at, at times, but she's already been through it because she's vegan so everyone criticized her how she was eating before and now they're criticizing her even more now and the people frankly criticizing her are usually the ones that should probably be looking in the mirror and criticizing themselves a little bit more 
probably why they're criticizing too, because subconsciously they feel like, hey, I'm doing something wrong here. Let's see. Are we still going good here? Anyone? Oh, here we go. No, you can't say that. So this is my friend, Adam Lacey. Carrie's putting in some incredible work in the documentary. Intelligently professional work that you'll be very proud to share. Thank you for saying that, Adam, and thank you so much. Everyone out here, Adam, if you have anything, oh, we got to do something. If you want to do a live stream or something, I would love to. Adam is a fellow part of work. I, I mentioned you earlier. I don't know if you were on, Adam. Adam graciously went out of his way to email me and say, listen, if I got to sweep the floors, whatever I got to do, I want to help you with this. And he's been invaluable to me. This has been so much stuff. Like, put, like just for example, one thing he did was help me organize all of the names because people are sending in names on this video, on this live stream, commenting here on this post. Uh, he helped me fix the website. He's helping me review. He's one of the only people, by the way, that seen what we've got going on so far for the Carnivore Diet documentary. We've got a first couple of pages written already. It's a very rough draft. I'm not ready to share it with people. But some of the feedback Adam gave me on that was just amazing. I was like, duh, that's like so much better. Like the grass blade suggestion, Adam knows what I'm talking about. You guys will know what we're talking about when we get a little further. I'll start sharing some more. But huge, huge shout out and thank you to Mr. Adam Lacey. Uh, it's awesome what you're doing. And yeah, it, I, I mentioned it. I threw it out there before. But I would love to do a live stream or video with you if we can. Maybe when we get a little bit further, too, maybe we can share a little bit of the, the work together. But uh, Adam's uh, Adam's a huge part of this documentary. I've said it before. This is by no means, this isn't Carrie's carnivore documentary. It's communities, and it's also Adam's, in large part, from all the help he's given me. So it's so nice to be able to have someone to share stuff with, too. So I, uh, I shouldn't, my, my wife, Jen, has been very helpful as well, and she's been looking over things as well. Uh, Adam's a fellow carnivore, though, too. And just to be able to bounce ideas off of him, it's it's been amazing. Thank you so much, Adam. We got to do a video together for sure. If you want to, I don't want to. I don't want to push you too much. Oh, um, here we go. Another man. Everyone's coming on here now. Intentional carnivore, my friend Sean. Sean, I, this was a last minute thing. I was ready to jump on here. I wasn't going to do this. Uh, I didn't want to watch Spider Man again. We have Spider Man for a week here. I can only watch movies so many times. And so Emma's upstairs manning the counter, and I was like. Should I do a live stream? I really didn't want to because I had those audio issues before. I ordered an Ethernet cable. It's coming late from Amazon. It was supposed to be here today. So I'm like, let's just wing it. I was ready to call you, Sean, and be like, hey, you want to partner up and do one of these tonight? But, you know, it's Father's Day too. I was actually going to do one of these with Carnivore Kip. We're doing one on Tuesday uh, because today was Father's Day. Uh, but thank you, Sean. Lies my doctor told me. Kicking ass after 50 and the Carnivore Code. I believe those are all three from the great Dr. Barry check them all out. I'm going to order these now, too. I am following on things, and I want to get Dr. Obadi's book as well. Adam, Gary's passion, caring, hard work, and enthusiasm is going to bless so many others in their health journey. Congrats on bringing along Sean Dante and Dr. Chafee in the blessing. Yes, thank you. That is so nice for you, Adam. I really appreciate it, and I appreciate all of those people, Sean, Dante, Dr. Chafee, hopefully some others as well. Let's see what else do we have here. Oh, that's right. The proper human diet book hasn't come out yet. Okay, thank you, Kimberly. I, that's my go-to word. I say carnivore diet often, but that's just such a great way of phrasing it, the proper human diet. I think that's why we love Dr. Ken Berry and some of these other doctors because they're just, they speak the truth. Dante from Fregno Freedom, Sean from Intentional Carnivore. Check them all out. These men speak the truth and women women doctors out there too i don't want to forget um and youtube influencers okay question from zoe i am a newbie what is the doctor you refer to dr ken ben no it's dr ken berry just like the fruit it's kind of funny his name is a berry and you shouldn't eat berries on carnivore diet b-e-r-r-y want to start there and educate myself i love hearing that i'm so glad you said that because a lot of people they get enthusiastic and like i'm gonna go buy steak no this man, Dr. Ken Berry, he's saving countless lives, and he's done the research, and he has such informational, educational, and free, completely free videos. It changed my life watching his videos. So start there. Just Google Dr. Ken Berry, Carnivore Mistakes is an excellent video. Um, I think he has one called Carnivore 101. 
if you've got any sort of issues with diabetes, he has reversing type 2 diabetes, just some amazing videos, lots of uh, really good, solid science and information in those. And read the testimonials. That's one thing, too. Just go read the comments. You'll be amazed to see the comments, Dr. Ken Berry. There's other good doctors out there, too. Dr. Chafee is amazing as well. Dr. Ken Baker, uh, Dr. Berg, there's so many of them. But I always end up talking about Ken Berry because he's the one that I happen to find and I went I've watched so many of his videos since then, so I am I know more about him, so I'm more comfortable recommending it. Kimberly said, I want to be on that next carnivore course. Yeah, me too. That sounds like fun. My family and I uh were very fortunate and blessed. We haven't done it in many years, but about ten years ago, when the triplets were little, we went on a cruise. And then a couple of years later, we went on another one in Alaska. We went on a couple of cruises with the girls when we were young. And it was a blast, uh, but it was very bad. It was very hard for my diet. I don't think I was dieting at that time. Anyhow. We're actually going on one in December. First time we're going on vacation in years. With our homestead, we've got goats and chickens. And we've got our outdoor wood burner. We can never get away. So we haven't gone on vacation in years. And we're making it happen this year. And believe you me, I'm going to bring a camera with because I'm not going to have one car about this. Car. I'm not worried about it. Uh, oh, what is your name? Uh, there is a popular YouTuber. Oh my goodness. I don't know why I can't think of names tonight. I was out in the sun too much today. She, uh, she just had her honeymoon and went on a cruise and did it almost strictly carnivore the whole time. Lots of really good burger patties. But the cruise we're going on has a uh, really good steak house as well. And then of course you got eggs and everything else. Carnivore Ron, new member. Thank you, Carnivore Ron. You didn't have to do that. Carnivore Ron is amazing. Check out his YouTube channel. Appreciate that, Ron. Let's see if we have any other questions. I'll check this. Susan, congratulations. Lost five pounds the past week. Transitioned from keto to carnivore. Ten total carbs or less right now. Good job. That is some progress. And since you were doing keto already, I think I mentioned this to you before, but I'm happy for you because... You're a veteran, and carnivore is just a little harder than keto, but you've already been doing keto, so you got this. Tina said, oh, you guys are you guys are going to make me blush. You guys are too nice. Carrie, you and your wife are true heroes for caring for triple and another one on top of it with ill health. Yeah, that was, that was a tough thing. We're so fortunate and blessed. The triplets were all very healthy. But yeah, my older daughter, we always be a triplet plus one, and the plus one has had just a myriad of health conditions, including having at age 13 and lots of issues with some blood clots. And, but um, she's, uh, she's doing better now. So, But thank you very much. That was my biggest concern when we heard we're having triplets. I was just like, oh my goodness, are they okay? Here, a quick story you guys want to hear. The day that we found out uh, we were having triplets, we found out from the uh, lady doing the ultrasound. And for some reason, my wife, Jen, she had, uh, oh, sorry, I just got to check this here real quick. Excuse me. Hmm. Okay. Sorry, Emma's, Emma's upstairs manning the concession counter and she's texting me something, but I think she's okay. Uh, the, we, for some reason, my wife then had her ultrasound at five months, which I believe is incredibly late. And she was really, really pregnant. And I had a feeling that she was having multiple. In fact, you know, everyone asked, what do you want, a boy or a girl? I said, I don't know, but I just having two. I told it to everybody. And uh, I don't know why. I just had a feeling and she was just really, really pregnant. <laughs> so we, she had an ultrasound at five months. And the, ultrasound, the ultrasound tech. You'd think they would train them not to do this. But she was looking at things. She's like, oh, uh-oh. Oh, uh-oh. I was like, what is uh-oh? You're not supposed to say, oh, that should be like 101 ultrasound class. You don't say, uh-oh. I thought something was wrong. She's like, oh, no, there's another one in there. And she's like, oh, there's a third. Oh, no, there's a fourth. And she's like, oh, no, it's just three. I was fell on the floor. That's how we found out. They don't run them randomly, by the way. It was a complete shocker. Found out at the ultrasound. And thankfully, they were all healthy and there were no issues. The trip would come a lot earlier. They come out at week 32. And Katie... Uh, the smallest of the triplets, she was under two pounds. She was born at 32 weeks. She had to stay in the intensive care for almost a month. The other two got to go home shortly after, but they were all in intensive care. But thank God they were all healthy and they all did well and they got some amazing care. 
hospital. Janet said, thank you. I love all your guests and group. Dave, Carrie, Sean, and Kip. Oh, thank you so much. Yep. Sh Sean's on here right now. Uh, Connor for Ron was another guest I had on the channel and Kip's coming on Tuesday. So check that out if you guys want. Be sure you subscribe. Carnivore Kip. This is going to be a fun conversation. Uh, I'm really into smoking meats lately. And uh, oh, I've been making up some really good food on the smoker. I was so scared to smoke anything. Prior to carnivore, I would smoke foods every now and then. And you always ended up with some sugary barbecue sauce or some um, love that had sugar and garbage in it. And I thought I thought on carnivore, there's it's just not going to be possible. But that's not true. Made up some amazing ribs the other day. Just used duck fat and salt, Redmond salt, and it was some of the most delicious food I've ever eaten. Tina asked, "Are you thinking of doing one long carnivore movie or a series to cover different areas?" The plan is to just do one, but it is tricky because there's so many things I want to cover, and it becomes even more compounded by the fact that if I cover too much, we get too obscure. Even though a lot of people say, "Hey, do this thing, do this weird thing," we're going to lose a lot of people. And that's one of the biggest things. If you have content on Amazon or Netflix or even YouTube for that matter, if your engagement is low and people watch and then all of a sudden you put something in and it's obscure or weird and they drop off, you're not going to fare well on Netflix or YouTube. YouTube will rank your content lower. So it's going to be a tricky balancing act. Maybe we'll do this and maybe we'll end up doing a part two or a follow-up to some more of those items. But I really want to do one just standard and maybe one and a half long documentary to cover everything without any boring characters, the engagement can be very good. The Atlantis says, I've been following Dr. Barry since he's doing keto. Then he did 30 days of carnivore and he stuck with it. Yeah, he sure did. Jennifer, I made my first batch of brown butter bites. I never knew how delicious they were. Aren't they delicious? Yeah, I don't know if my mom's still on here, but she got Emma and I hooked on those. It's so crazy. It's just butter. I think it just tastes like butter, but no, it almost tastes like. Uh, like a candy or something. I don't know. Janet's asking about them. We did a video a while back, Janet, if you want to check my channel. It wasn't really a recipe, but we did, I think it was seven carnivore snacks and the brown butter was one of those snacks. It's just butter that you heat up on the stove and then you put it into a little mold and then you freeze it and it gets a little brown on the top and it almost tastes like a, it tastes like a candy a little bit. There's no sugar in it, obviously, but uh, Drummer K, the carb addiction doctor is really good as well. Yes. Yeah, there's so many. Kimberly. Oh, yep. Yeah, yeah. Correction. I think I called it the carnivore cruise. It was actually the keto cruise. I'd love to go on the keto cruise in the future as well. I'd also love to go to the keto conference next year with my friend Ron, uh, Ron uh, Carnivore Ron. That would be fun. I know he mentioned he'd love to go there. There we go. Lily Kane. That's right. Lily Kane. So Lily Kane, uh, she's a great YouTuber, carnivore. And she got married and I think it was her honeymoon. She was on a cruise and she filmed the whole thing. And did a, it was a very entertaining video. It was fun to see how she navigated an entire cruise where there's sugar and junk food and garbage all around you. She did a heck of a job. Showed a bunch of the food she was eating. So it was kind of motivating. Yeah, she's very funny. She's She's got a great YouTube channel. Very funny, very entertaining. And uh, yeah, I always enjoy her, her videos as well. Love to see Carrie and Lily Kane do a video together. Yeah, you know, I think I might have reached out to her. And I think it was probably before she left on her honeymoon. So I should reach out to her again. That would be a lot of fun. I, I would definitely like doing that. Dr. Kilt is a... Uh, Fertility carnivore doctor, amazing. Yes, he's very good too. Tina said, to be honest, your first 30-day YouTube video is so popular because your energy vibe is so positive, educational, authentic with real life stories and those short clips of doctor summarizing. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, that video really seemed to resonate with people. Uh, after that, I've done a little bit similar to that, but uh, I've been doing my updates, but I'm thinking about doing another video on 100 or close to that 30 day where I talk about it more just for someone that doesn't know about carnivore. I, I, I think having those clips from the various doctors helps too, like the testimonial from Dr. Jordan Peterson. I had Dr. Ovedi in that first 30 day one too. Oh, that's a great question. 
Jeez, Tina, I wonder. That's so sad too. How many people suffer from infertility and have no idea all they need is a decent diet with better animal fat? Think about it. I agree. Break my heart too. I don't know. They just don't know. That makes you wonder too about all the other issues and ailments that people have that they just they just think oh, that's just the way it is. That's the one thing that drives me insane about doctors too. Well, it's just the way it is. That's I don't know. Like with my daughter Lily. Why does she have HS? That was my question. Why does she have it? Well, she just, she just does. You know, some teenagers get it. There's nothing you can do about it. It's just the way it is. No. No. It's the food she's eating. It's very simple. She stopped eating the food eight days later, cleared up. So it's not just the way it is. But yeah, that's sad thinking about that. P Atlantis, $9 super chat. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. All that's going towards the carnivore diet documentary. Tina said, even at church, we chatted about the carnivore diet and you all. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah, we had a good Father's Day today. We started off with church. And uh, yeah, I don't think I've talked to anyone at church about carnivore diet, but I was wondering that today. I'm like, I'm sure a bunch of these people are probably thinking, oh, here's that weird carnivore guy in the corner over there. Maybe some of them do. And then maybe some are like, maybe he's onto something because uh, I had a couple of people say that, say that too. Tina, that's a great question. How to prepare beef ribs. Cook it on a barbecue. We plan to do some tonight in kettle barbecue. That is, I don't know. I'm not going to make anything up. I haven't done beef ribs yet, but I will ask Carnivore Kip that when we talk on Tuesday. That's a great question. I've only done pork ribs myself. And when I did the pork ribs, I did them low and slow, duck fat and salt. They were delicious. So good. Well, this has been awesome. Oh, we're at an hour and a half already. The time flies. I really appreciate everyone. Thank you so much. I got to wrap this up now. Someone's texting me. I got to go up and help her. We're going to close down the movie theater for the night and making some awesome progress. Huge, huge shout out and thank you to Adam, who is on here as well, for helping with the Carnivore Diet movie. And huge shout out for all the super chats and people that are joining. I'm going to be posting more and more. In fact, Emma's going to help me. She's going to, everyone wants to hear more from Emma, which I think is awesome. She can inspire some people because I know there's a lot of people that have teenagers and they're trying to get them to eat this way. Well, Emma can help inspire people. Great. So she's going to post more on our community tab for the members and, and otherwise as well. But uh, we have a video Emma and I did together. Uh, the BBB beef, butter, bacon, egg, power bowl, power bowl. That was a fun one. And now we're, now we're doing the lion diet. So we're going a little bit away from that, but it was a fun video. So I got to maybe post that. For, maybe I'll do that one tomorrow. It's just sitting there waiting to get posted. So anyhow, thank you all so much. And thank you to everybody that keeps coming back and leaving the comments and the support. I really appreciate it more than you'll ever know. So thank you so much. I hope everyone has a great night.